What's up, you incomprehensible, ignoramus, pamper jamming, pillow biters? It's your boy Rob, and apparently, I'm an asshole. Episode 12. Episode 12. That's four weeks. Four weeks of me giving you solid gold. Probably copper. Anyways, <clears throat> you guys haven't been telling your friends though. I got late 80s worth of followers. I need 100, just 100. That's all I'm asking. Now, those of you who are subscribed, great. Thank you for becoming an asshole light. I'll figure out a term for you guys. Uh, but for the people who are not subscribed that are just watching this, that's cute. All right, thank you for coming by. <laughs> but subscribe. I need 100 followers. I got some cool shit planned, and I need you guys to be along for the ride. Uh, also, you know, I know what you guys do in group chats. You send each other these weird ass memes, some stuff you downloaded from TikTok, something you think is funny that your friends are like, I see it. So you can share this. This is just a link. They're not gonna hate you for it. And if they do, they're not your friends anyways, which kind of means that they're assholes. And I, that means I kind of want them to join the asshole clip. Asshole gang, butthole brigade. None of this works. You know what we do here. We're gonna read some Am I the Asshole stories that you can either find on Reddit or at my personal Twitter, Asshole am I the, that's twitter.com backslash asshole am I the, or if you send in your stories to Gmail, that's am I the a hole 22 at gmail.com. Uh, <clears throat> you don't have to make them short, but kind of make them short, make it to the point, and then I'll change your name and make it something either funny or, uh, you know, accurate. Am I the asshole because I won't forgive my boyfriend? I'm a 21-year-old female. I've been living with my 25-year-old boyfriend for a year now, over a year now. We have a small walk-in closet but haven't been able to really use it because he just throws things in there and we'll deal with it tomorrow. Ooh. Uh, back in February, I asked my boyfriend if he could help me clean the closet so we can actually use the closet and I can finally get to my clothes. He tells me that we can do this on his day off. But after five months of asking, I said, fuck this and I'll just do it myself. I started around noon and made it halfway through the closet by 4 p.m. I finally see some of my boxes that I haven't unpacked yet, but noticed that a crushed plastic container filled with a clear cleaning liquid was crushed by a bigger tool set on top of this box. I moved the tool set and noticed that one of the car soaps is empty. I started to panic and then pick up the bottle. It's sticky and oily and I noticed a big soap oil stain on top of the box. I instantly said, oh no, I opened the box and everything was covered in soap stuff. I immediately started crying while going through some of my things. A lot of the things in the box were important to me. My favorite books, my scrapbook and the stuff for it, my art books, my board games, and $200 router and polarized pictures. Polarized or Polaroid? Okay. My boyfriend came home while I was crying and I yelled at him for being careless and ruining one of my oil, oil paintings that I was going to give to him for his birthday. After yelling at him, I told him I didn't want to speak to him until I was ready. And after finally calming down, I told him I can never forgive him for ruining my things. He said that he was sorry and that he didn't mean for the things to get ruined, <clears throat> that it was an honest mistake, and that he would make sure things get put away properly. I told him I didn't care and left it at that. Fast forward to now. Whenever my boyfriend asks me if I'm happy with him, I say no because you ruined the things that were important to me. And still he says sorry, it wasn't his intention for my things to get ruined, but I won't take his apology. So am I the asshole for not letting this go for months? I'm gonna flip a coin on this one because uh, to be honest, yes, your things got ruined. And yes, it was his carelessness that, that caused it to happen. Uh, but your question here is, am I the asshole for not letting this go? And for that, you are the asshole. Because what's your end game? Like, how long are you going to be mad at him? And on top of that, I get it. If you're upset, you're upset. And you're rightfully so upset. But if you can't forgive him, then you need to break it off with him. Also, you were going to give him the oil painting. I know that's not the extent of it. But um, that's his gift. And you should still give it to him. All fucked up and everything. But yeah, it did ruin some other shit. But what are you gonna do? Stay with somebody that you can't forgive? That's the thing. You're the asshole for holding on to this for so long and staying with him. It's, like, it's almost like, it's like me going into the fridge and there's nothing in there. And then I go to the fridge and a half an hour, what did I expect, the fridge fairy to come through? You know, it, it also sounds like he realized that he screwed up and he said he won't do it again and you, you have to hold him to that. So if he's not gonna do it again, then you, you know, don't just wait around to see if he's gonna do it again because then he'd have to ruin your shit or unruin your shit, I don't know. 
I mean, the day is gonna come when you're gonna wanna spill wine on his shoes or by accident or some shit like that and see what his response is. Cause if he forgives you because it's material stuff, then he forgives you. In the long run, if you're gonna be with somebody that long, you know, there's gonna be some things that are fucked up. Then what happens? You know, if you've been with this person for a long enough time and this is the one thing, oh, I can't forgive this, then, and you stay with them, then I don't know. That's just a little weird. Like you're, he accidentally ruined some things and they were important, but honestly, at the same time, at the same point, you have to let some of this stuff go. So yes, he fucked up, yes. Eight fucking months ago. Oh, they broke my mug. I will never forgive them. Meanwhile, that's your mom. I mean, what are you going to do? So I get it. What your question is, are you the asshole for staying mad for eight months? Yeah, a little bit to yourself and to him. You know, either leave him or therapy. Therapy. Am I the asshole for how I told my sister no to going to the movies with her? My sister is upset with me for how I answered her. Uh, they're 26 and 25. She texted me, are we going to see Smile? And I responded with a thumbs down reaction to her text. And that's all I said to her. I had a friend coming down to visit from out of state. I was a little busy and I knew I was going to see it with her, with just her as a date. Okay. A week later, I go on a date with my friend to see the movie. After the movie ends, I text my sister that the movie is good and she, uh, and she starts insulting me. Cussing at me, blowing up my phone and how she's mad that I saw it and, I, and says that I said that I didn't want to see it. Says that I said that I didn't want to see it. I never said I didn't want to see it. She asked me if we, me and her, are going to see it and I said no. I didn't think I needed to tell her why we weren't going to see the movie together because either way I wasn't going to see it with her and assumed she'd just go to see it with her friends instead. I asked her why she just didn't go to see it with her friends and she said her two friends were too busy to see it and I don't see how that's my problem. She goes to the movies alone often anyways, and she's just mad for how I answered her. So am I the asshole for how I told her? I'm gonna take this moment out to tell people to continuously go to assholeamiva at twitter.com or email me at mitheahole22 at gmail.com because I, I, I have a habit now of looking at Reddit and looking at these comments and you guys are the true assholes. Let's think about this here. Somebody put, you're the asshole, she's mad for how you answered her and rightfully so. I think a, just a thumb down emoji is a rude way to answer a question. And then this whole thing is going down, there's a whole thread of how that's correct. Okay. Maybe this is just my thing. As a resident asshole, I'm gonna tell you how I feel and that's what you're here for. No, you're not the asshole. It's a fucking emoji. You guys need to grow up. First of all, you're 26, she's 25. If I hit up my boy and was like, hey, we're gonna see this movie or we're going to this bar or ax throwing, I don't know, it's manly, who gives a shit. And then they hit me with the thumbs down. I have to assume that they're busy. When you assume you make an ass out of you, man, not you and me, because there's no and in the middle of that. It's a fucking emoji. They put them there for a reason. Now, what would be, what would be acceptable is if you, you know, uh, she said, hey, you're gonna see the movie with me and you put a thumbs up, that's acceptable, but a thumbs down is like, oh, it's the end of the fucking world. These commenters, man, like I, I should not read these. And that's why we're trying to get away from Reddit. But I, I don't know. Confusion could have been avoided with clearer communication. At this point in 2022, an emoji is communication. If you read too much into it, she could have totally fucking texted you back and been like, wait, why not, sister? And blowing you up over a fucking movie that may or may not be all right. It's a movie called Smile. Smile, motherfucker, smile. What the fuck? This is so stupid. I I, I, I look at this generation. It, it's not just this generation. It's any generation after mine. Because we had the best music. We had the best movies. We had the best TV shows. And you guys suck. I don't give a fuck. Fight me on it. I'm an asshole. What did you expect? This is the dumbest fucking thing ever. You guys look like... Oh my God. So your sister doesn't deserve the same respect as your friend? You live two separate fucking lives. I have three sisters. Do you mean to tell me that I'm supposed to get along with these motherfuckers all the time? I was about to call them bitches, but I know them personally. You don't, so I can say that. What the fuck is this? I I'm going to read one more comment. You know how to talk, so use your words. I'm using that voice for a reason, because this sounds stupid. Are you really just learning that emojis aren't a great way to communicate things to clearly can be easily misinterpreted. What the fuck? Are you guys all 13? It's a fucking emoji. And if the other person on the other side needs clarity, they're adult enough to ask for it. At 25, you have developed your frontal lobe. Use that shit. Practice. The fuck is this? It's an emoji. You know what I give? 
your sister, and all these commenters a fucking thumbs down. Fight me for it. I'm going to leave it at that. Maybe, here's another one. Am I the asshole for opening the show by calling you guys stuff like, you know, stupid douche canoes or... I don't even remember what I said. Something about a pamper jam, like jamming a pamper and biting a pillow. I, I don't even remember it. I mean, it just come off the top of my head. So, uh, you know, am I the asshole for that? But the show is called Am I the Asshole? So, you know what? Never mind. I'm my own Reddit commenter and I'm like, Oh my God, it was such an asshole. No. So, um, fuck all that. This is the end of the show. And this is week four. That's a month of doing this shit. So... I want to change some stuff up. I was hoping within a month I would have 100 followers, but you know, some people are from New Jersey. For those of you who are here, like, comment, and if you're not subscribed, subscribe, and hit that bell so you can find out when the fuck this is going on, or just continue to join in Monday, Wednesday, Friday, until I get 100 subscribers, and then I'm gonna switch it up, and you guys are gonna like what I have in mind if you like the show already. Some of you have hit me up, not in the comments like you're supposed to, and told me, hey, I like the show, I like where this is going, I like this, I like that, yada, yada, yada. But y'all don't put it in the comments, and you're not telling your friends. So technically, you are the assholes, which is Catch-22. I like you being here because like-minded company or birds of a feather get killed with one rock, two birds and a stone or some shit like that. But you're definitely stoned if you're not subscribing. So you know what to do. Also, hit me up on twitter.com backslash assholeamiva. I almost fucked that up. But it'll be here in the little on the screen. And then uh am I the a hole twenty two at gmail.com. Send in your stories. I'll change your name. Look at the last episode. I'll put the little link right here. Anyways, 